Hey, you got to know him, brothers in Christ. I want to uh, just say something that was on my heart. And the title of this message is, Why Do We Suffer? You know? Why do we suffer? You know what I'm saying? Why does God allow us to go through stuff? You know what I'm saying? The hurt. <laughs> suffer. I'm telling you. I'm just telling right now. And in all honesty, I was thinking that I was thinking that for a long time. Like, you know, what is this for? How about what if I did? You know, I felt like Job in a sense. I read, you know, you read the word, like, oh, what happened? Like, why am I going through this? But uh, think about it. <laughs> I was thinking about the scripture as I was talking to the Lord. He told me the scriptures. It was John nine, first couple letters. I mean, first couple of scriptures. I mean, yeah, first couple of scriptures basically. And the verses said, you know, Master, why was this man born blind, or why did this happen to this man, right? And he said, <laughs> he wasn't born blind for no man's sin, but so that the glory of God may be. So that God made me glorified in him. That basically God's doing the work in his life. And that's kind of cool. Like, right now you may not understand why the Lord takes you through what he takes you through. You may not understand why he's allowing you to feel the way you feel. You may not understand why life is at the state it is right now. But if you continue to keep going, if you continue to just wait on him and see what he got to say, you'll find out that... <laughs> Life ain't as bad as you think it is. Life ain't life ain't as horrible as it seems right now. Because in all honesty, it's, it's a story. It's not only your testimony. It's a reason God is doing this to build you, to guide you, to give you different things. Like, in all honesty, <laughs> it's going to be worth it in the end. And what, what story, you know what I'm saying, ain't, what, what good story don't have a little bit of drama in it? What good story don't have a little bit of adventure, action, you know? So of course they're gonna be adversities that come in your life. God's writing your story. It's gonna make a stronger testimony for later times. So for me, um, if you guys, if anybody's going through what I going through their little storm in life, anybody's been hurting, anybody, you know, I just been wondering why. <laughs> Understand that it's all for your good. It's all for a reason. Everything that's going on has an exact purpose. It's not accidental. It's to mold you and build you to be a good, to be the person you were made to be. And life, whether good or bad, take it. You know? A lot of time, it's easy to, it's easy to get down to your feelings it's easy to blame it on a situation or blame it on a person blame it on anything man but once you understand that it's for your good you start seeing life a little bit different man that's all i wanted to say just like this for me is i minister to myself as long as i minister to anybody that i need to hear the word like like right now for me like man <laughs> It's been eventful. Last, these last six months have been really eventful for me. All right? But it shows, like, not only that God is still with me, that, you know what I'm saying, I made it through the last six months. And same thing for you. If you're going through anything, you made it through that. God is still with you. And he the person that's never going to leave you, nor forsake you, no matter what's going on. He never left you. He was there when you was born. He's going to be there when you die. You can lose everything today, and God's still going to be with you. And, uh, that's one thing I had to say to y'all. I love y'all so much, and I, I hope all y'all genuinely are having a blessed life and blessed time. I don't get to individually meet every single one, every, every single person that watches these videos, but sometimes I'll be looking at, at, at it, you know what I'm saying, looking at the video, I'll be like, dang, that's a person. Like, 20 people. I might just stand in the room with 20 people. <laughs> 50 people, 70 people, sometimes 100 people. Like, dang, that's a lot of people. So I, individually, I don't get to say 
thank you and I appreciate you to all y'all. But I just want to say I hope you guys really do have a blessed evening or morning or afternoon because life is to be enjoyed. And that's kind of what my season is right now. I spent a lot of time on myself. I spent a lot of time not on myself. And God got me in a season of isolation where I got to kind of spend time with myself and with him. So it's been like, it's been this, it's been, you know, it's like he making me enjoy life again. Like like I was when I was a kid. He's making my soul back child. Like, you know, just, I'm just, I'm still wise. He make everything I learned along the way, but he's just resetting me in a, in a different way. So I, I'm, it's like I'm getting reset. It's like, I'm going, I went through all this stuff, but it was, it was all for a lesson. It was all for a reason. It was all for a purpose. But he bring me back to that season of isolation so I can go ahead, you know, do my thing. Father God, I, I, I don't know. I, I just hope I can make everybody proud and I hope I can make most of all him proud. That's my dream. I just want to be able to make God proud and do what he called me to do. I know it suck sometimes. I know it ain't fun. I know stuff be going on. But on the brighter side of things, he been with me this whole time. No one has to be with me, bro. Guys, man, I got to see so much cool, beautiful things during this time. Meet so many amazing people, awesome people, wonderful souls. You know what I'm saying? I got to do so much things with my life. It ain't been all bad. It just affect the negativity is what's been focused on. And that's what I'm learning. Like, just enjoy life, bro. Enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy the little things, man. If you got a favorite ice cream, man, go get you, go get you some ice cream, man. What's wrong with you? You got a favorite snack, man. Go enjoy your snack. When last time you, instead of eating it, you just really, like, tasted it? When last time you really drunk some water? When last time you had some food, you smelt the food, and you really enjoyed the food all the way? You know what I'm saying? That's going teach you that. But um, I just want to say to you guys, man, continue to go, man. You almost there. You know what I'm saying? Growth is a lifelong journey, by the way. But you still almost there. Life ain't but twinkling of eye. Life ain't life ain't life ain't that long. I was just a kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I really was just a kid. Like I'm 23 now. I was just a kid. Like that wasn't too long ago. I was just in high school clowning with my friends. I was just in middle school clowning with my other friends. You know what I'm saying? Like life ain't nothing but twinkling of eye. And no matter what age it is, man, you gotta learn to slow down and enjoy things because sometimes God be trying to get your attention. He'll be trying to get your attention. And you'll be like, man, you know? But this, this, that, third, and the fourth. But if you understand something, if you understand something, God, that stuff don't matter to God. It's not, it's nothing big to him. God doesn't get tired. He don't get faint. He don't get confused. None of that. Everything that you're worried about and that's so big in your life, God is not worried about. He's worried about you and he's trying to get your attention. You got to understand that. So sometimes he'll let you go through the heat so that you can, you, you can sit down, let everything go. Say, man, I just can't deal with it no more. When you can get to that point and love the Lord, that's special right there. Uh, I know you guys ain't heard from me in a minute. <laughs> I've been, I've been doing, me and God, been work, God and I have been working on a lot of things behind the scenes. We've been doing a lot of work. Uh, he been gonna, he's been, he's really been doing all the work. I just, I'm just a guy. I'm just, I'm just here. <laughs> he's getting a lot of things set up. And, um, I know that in the end, all this is gonna pay off. In the end, watch, like it's gonna be like, dang, how did you do that? And I'm gonna say, God, I'm gonna really be able to say, God did it. When I get to where God got me going, I'm gonna be able to say, God did it. He did this. I ain't got nothing to do with this. I just put in some, I just, I just put in a little bit of work. I just put in a little bit of patience. I just listened. I just did what I was told. He did this. And so when you guys, when finally everything is come around tripping, it never will, but come to a place where it's like re recognizable, you know, you'll be able to see that. Oh. Ah. I really want to climb this, but I ain't going to do all that on camera. <laughs> but nah I love y'all 
my brothers and my sisters. Keep going. <clears throat> Keep fighting, it ain't over with. It ain't over. Let me sit out. I, 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 I wish I had the vocals, you know what I'm saying? I'll be, hey, I'll be, hey. Boy, I'll be on singing, boy. <laughs> I'll be on singing. But, nah, for real. I ain't gonna lie, I want to keep going because I love spending time with y'all. Y'all be, y'all my friends. Y'all really is my friends for real. I love y'all so much. I'm like, I'm finna end the video. I already don't want to end the video. I'm just having fun. If you want to stick around, you can click off if you want to. We're going to stick around. We're just going to keep talking. But nah, yeah. We're God and everything, man. And everything y'all going through, just keep him. He will keep you, man. I'm telling you, man. I'll be putting, he be putting me in positions that I know I'm not supposed to be in. Like, I was always the runt. You feel me? I had to, I had to outwork people. I had to outwork you. I couldn't, I ain't had no natural talent. I ain't had no, you feel me? Part lit. I'm a big, I'm a big kid, man. I'm just a big kid. Oh, big old seesaw too. I'm just a big kid, man. But, uh, <laughs> Hey, this but this is what this is what is this is an example right here. This is what God wants. He wants you to be at your be at peace, man. You gotta learn how to walk away from life, bro. This life is designed to beat you down, break you down. If we was out in a big old field, you know what I'm saying, you got food, you got water, and you got a tent. Right? And the pace is played for by a private owner. You get amenities every month. You have you have your loved ones there. You got everybody you know, and it's a small city, not too far away, but it, but they about a mile, they about about, about a couple miles out. They a little drive out, but for the rest of your life, you don't have that. What would you guys be worried about? I feel like a large amount of you guys would say nothing, and that's what you got to understand. This is just life is designed for you to do. It's designed to stress you. The things of life. I got this bill right here. I got this going on right here. I got this person right here. That's what it's designed to do, bro. That's why God says stay away from me. It's not because he is trying to hurt anybody. He just want to be a Debbie Downer. He's saying it because he's a guy who wants a healthy and whole child. You know what I'm saying? You tell your kids don't eat candy. You tell your kids don't climb on this. You tell your kids don't touch that for reasons. Not because, you know, you feel me? Not for anything else, but for reasons. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? For reasons. Because they can get hurt. They can get sick. They can get in the way. You feel me? I'm a wild man. Just let y'all know. I'm a wild man, you feel me? Let me try. But no. That's why that's why he tell you to do and not to do. Like, I might have met so many people that be like, I know it's a sin to do this. I know it's I know they they always say I know this. I know that. I know I shouldn't be doing this. I know I shouldn't be doing that. In your heart, everybody in their heart know when they doing wrong or right. That's why they always question it. If you was really doing right like you say you would, you wouldn't be questioning it, bro. You feel me? You wouldn't be questioning it. <laughs> it's a being. It's because reason being is because God, bro. I'm a, oh, shit. oh my god! Hey, hey I'm a grown kid. Uh, hey, I'm a grown kid. Hey, I'm a girl. Oh, hey. No, nah, no. But nah. I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all for a little bit because it's so many of us in that situation. We gotta be strong. We gotta get through this. We gotta get through that. Man, you carrying all this stuff and God just like, man, you don't got to carry all that. That's not your job. If your kid comes up to you saying, man, I got to do this. I got to go pay this. I got to go do this. And he eight years old. You go look at him crazy because that's not his job. You feel me? Same thing with you. A lot of stuff y'all worried about in life. God going to take care of you no matter what. 
And I know all y'all can testify in this. There's been times where stuff it weren't looking right. You don't know how you was gonna get out of this. You don't know how you was gonna get the money to pay for this. You don't know how you was gonna do this. You don't know how you was gonna afford this. And you still made it out on top. Now the hair on your head was touched. You was good, you feel me? All of us got them times, man. So why is you stressed right now? Because you're sitting on your mind and you're ignoring it. Stop ignoring it. Acknowledge it. And speak that life over it, bro. Who controlling it? Who got you? This ain't your first rodeo. Most, A lot of y'all, this ain't your first rodeo. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to fall on these little things. They got springs. They wobble, too. But it's wide enough for you. Oh. 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 Nah, that's hard, though. Oh, oh, it's wobbling a lot. Oh. <laughs> nah. Nah, for sure. Nah, I, I just want to let y'all know that, though. I be, in my own head, the only thing I struggle with, I'm quiet. Sometimes I don't do this. I needed this. This is ministering to me. Cause I, everything I'm telling y'all, this, this, I'm really speaking to myself. I really, I really be documenting everything I go through with God. And rewatching it, every struggle, every everything I had to face. And I ain't it, a lot of it ain't been on camera, but the emotions and the residue behind it, you know. So I know it's a long video. I'm about to upload all this and all that. I don't care. Cause I really do genuinely love spending time with y'all. I love y'all. I love talking to y'all. People say I say comment, but I really do read my comments. I ain't know, ain't that many people on this channel. I love reading my comments. I love reading people. Like I love talking to y'all and interacting with y'all. And, and seeing how y'all doing and seeing how y'all feel about stuff. Y'all got any questions or if y'all think about something, I would love to talk, talk to it with y'all. I love communicating. I ain't really, I ain't, I'm doing this for me, but you know what I'm saying? As far as y'all, I ain't doing it for no reason. I do want to communicate with y'all. So if you got something, you, you in your heart, you got something in your heart that you are led, you feel led to say, man, say it. And I'm going to respond to it every time. Unless, unless it's like too many people. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, if I start responding, it's just too many people, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, yeah. I do love y'all, man. I hope y'all guys having a great time. I'm probably finna go ahead and head home. You know what I'm saying? Head home. It's a beautiful night, man. But if you go through stuff so that the glory of God, maybe, you know what I'm saying? So it got me be glorified in you, man. If you're going through all those trials and hurdles, so that God, you know what I'm saying, can let you go through, go what you go through. Is that, um, ah, that was bad explanation in my opinion, but that's how you go through stuff, man. I go to study. That's a little party hat. They got to look a little book thing. That's so hard. But nah. That's right. This is my little area. So like when I, I need to think, I probably should be sharing. Okay. I'm going to go there now. I don't be all the time. But I like to come here sometime. This is not my one area, but I like to come here sometime to clear my mind. I like to clear my mind. I be doing my own thing, little thing. I just, I can fall doing this though. It's done. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope y'all have a great time. Great year. 2023 is a year of growing, man. A lot of y'all, a lot of fruit y'all labor is starting to blossom and bud. A lot of y'all been working for years and ain't nothing being shaking. And y'all starting to see this year like, dang, so stuff is starting to move a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going, y'all. Keep praying, keep fasting. Keep doing whatever the Lord is leading you to do. Obedience is better than sacrifice. So, you may have gotten the rhythm of doing certain things, but if God's showing you, leaning you in your heart to do something, just do it. And watch how life get better, man. Your life moves only as fast as you want it to. The more you obey, the faster it go. That's just how the road, you know what I'm saying? It's a 20 minute video, but I don't mind. I love you guys, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed evening. You know what I'm saying? From the archive, or for the archives, like, saving his life do go crazy and like, <laughs> 
I'll be look at look back at this video, look back at the time I got to talk to y'all and be like, dang, time went by. But yeah, man, hope you guys have a blessed evening. Use my name, amen.